Welcome to Die Headlines. I'm Louisa Lee. Thank you for joining us. In May this year, Cyclone Nagas caused sea water to flood the rice fields, which seriously affected grain yield throughout the country. During the survey, city volunteers were happy to see that farmers were not deeply disheartened by the bad harvest. Instead, they are encouraging each other to stay strong and work even harder. Strolling through Doku Lue village in Kungyagong town, one sees Miao Zhou working hard in his father's rice field. The father and son were very grateful for Tsiji's rice seed and fertilizer. However, as some of their land is still saturated with salty water, the harvest from their eight-acre field was reduced by half this year. Pointing to two adjacent rice fields that were both sown with Tsiji's seed, Miozo's concern is self-explanatory. On this side, it's sown with Tsiji seeds. On that side, it's the same. The rice grew well on this side, but not so good on the other side. Salinization of the fields has sharply affected the crops. The same problem plagues Kanki village. Sixty-year-old Wu Sang has been a farmer all his life. One catastrophic cyclone wiped out his means of livelihood. Mother Nature has destroyed this land. An acre produces just four, five or six baskets of grain. Due to salinization of the land, not even grass survives. Despite the many trials following Cyclone Nagas, farmers in Kung Yagong have not given up. In Tuangbak Pain village, local resident Wu Mian Ong believes it is time for all to brace their hearts. We must work very hard. The disaster happened and we couldn't have done anything about that. People died, buffaloes died and crops were destroyed. We mustn't live in despair. We must forge ahead with our lives. Salinization of land is a serious problem for Burmese farmers, but no immediate solution has been found yet. People in Myanmar are praying earnestly, asking not for luxuries, but merely enough food to eat.